Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetanesh Nuri and today I am going to show you how to get the best sound out of your headphones using Viper for Android. So there are two versions of Viper for Android and I am going to show you the Viper for Android FX and first of all what we are going to do is we are going to open the Viper for Android and if you are installing the Viper for Android for the first time it should ask you for installing the drivers over here and you can select any driver you have three options high quality super high quality and one more I don't really remember that so I'm using the JBL C something C100 I think and it was around uh, 900 rupees so what is that uh, around uh, 10 to 15 US dollars so that is really a great price for a headset and those give out really nice sound but if you want to enhance that sound quality and you really like the surround sound and you know the richness in the song first of all what you have to do is download the 320 kbps music and that is about one song is about uh, 7 8 MB so don't try and download the uh, the low quality music you have to download the 320 kbps and if you search for the songs on google or if you download it for itunes you need to have a song that is 320 kbps to get the best sound out of it so first of all what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna power it on and we're just gonna enable the playback control as well and we're gonna set it to extreme and what it does it it gives the extreme you know the you know the best output of the effects that we're gonna apply to the songs going out and first of all let me just tell you that uh, for installing the Viper for Android that I forgot uh, to tell you you need to have a permissive kernel so stock kernel and stock Android I mean the software that comes with the phone and not the custom ROM you know the stock software has enforcing kernel and that won't work with the Viper for Android so you need to have a permissive kernel and you can do a quick search on Google how to get permissive kernel for your particular device and that should be really easy to do and some of the canals also provide you with additional features and also increases your battery life so that is really nice about that so after you got the permissive canal we're just gonna go into the Viper for Android once again and now the next thing comes with your type of headset so first of all what we're gonna do is you're gonna listen to your headphones and if you think the bass is coming too high I mean you can hear the lower end more than the higher end of the sound meaning you you are hearing bass more than the treble you're gonna set the fire equalizer to rock between and if you are hearing them um, you know equally so you're gonna select R and B so I I like the higher end so I set it on rock so it comes down to personal preference once again that I forgot to tell you is you have to set the UI to moderate to get the best control over your music so after that uh, now we're gonna go and enable the field surround sound and we're gonna set the field surround strength to extreme and once what it does it gives you a surround sound effect which feels amazing and uh, we're also gonna enable the headphone surround plus it gives a different kind of surround sound and it is really hard to explain but you gotta try with that and what level 2 does it gives you a, a closed room kind of feel and what level 3 does is uh, it gives you a concert type of feel a open hall kind of feel so I like the closed room kind of feel so I set it to level 2 so it comes down to um, personal preference once again but I really like the level 2 and now we're gonna do is enable the Viper base so we're gonna enable that and to get the most out of the lower end we're gonna set it to 100 Hertz and we're gonna increase the base boost so 
it comes down to your headphones so if you get a lot of um, lower end you need to set it uh, in the lower db version decibel version so i will set it to 8 and i will also enable the clarity viper clarity so it enhances the treble and the higher ends so i'm just gonna uh, increase the decibel level of that as well so my headphones give the equal amount of bass and treble so which means it gives equal amount of lower end and the higher end so I'm just gonna select uh, 8 over here as well and it gives a really good feeling to the music so I'm just gonna put the headphones on and I'm gonna fire up the YouTube so I can immediately tell you how different the sound comes So I'm going to listen to Yellow Claw. So let's go into Till It Hurts, which is an amazing song. So let me just forward that. So right now it is giving me a really good surround sound with a lot of bass. And the perfect amount of bass I mean. And, and also the treble punch i really like the higher end punch i really like that and that is just amazing and if i compared it to the stock uh, sound uh, i'm just gonna turn off viper for android for a second and viper for android and we're just gonna turn it off and i and i've tried that many times and that's just not this really same feel of that so right now i hear you know Everything is flat. Uh, it feels like um, every sound is coming from one place, and the bass is not that punchy. The travel is not that punchy as well. So if I turn on the Viper for Android once again, so I really don't need the force enable V4A. So we're gonna enable that once again. And I'm gonna turn on, turn the music and and, and there comes the bass punch and the treble punch, the higher end punch and the lower end punch. I really like that. And when you turn this on with the surround sound, it just it feels like every instrument is playing from a different area, and it just uh, it just seems like that. Uh, instrument they are playing from another space and you can really hear the distance between the different sounds and the different frequencies and it is just amazing and i think that's it thanks for watching guys and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys